Hello, I'm JW, and uh, this video is uh, fairly short, but it's just really a follow up to the previous one where I had those uh, borrowed or shared neutrals or whatever you want to call them. And uh, as we saw in the previous video, that's where you've got a connection between two different circuits. So, for example, you've got the downstairs lighting circuit and an upstairs lighting circuit, of course, which are normally separate. And then, of course, when you put a light in the stairway, you somehow end up with a line from the downstairs and the neutral connected to the upstairs. And this is not permitted and, uh, of course, results in various dangerous situations when you isolate one circuit and not the other. And the lighting deal is uh, probably the most common uh, occurrence of this in the UK, certainly in older properties. And I'll just show you how this is normally found and uh, the uh, possible reasons for this to happen. So what I've drawn here is two uh, separate light fixtures and two switches. And you might consider say this was the one upstairs and then this one will be uh, downstairs. So for both of them we've just got the uh, line in neutral coming in from the fuse box. So the neutral goes through straight into the light fixture and into the lamp or light bulb there. And the line again comes into there then we've got a twin cable going to the switch and then returning from the switch back to the lamp there. So uh, when the switch is on of course that completes the circuit and uh, switches the light on. And exactly the same on the downstairs one, uh, just again the neutral straight in and then the line obviously is the switched one via the single pole switch there. And uh, you can imagine that these two would go to uh, the same fuse box but uh, two separate circuits. So of course uh, you wouldn't normally have or want any interconnection between those two. Now in most houses, uh, certainly of a certain age in the UK and even new ones, and it's generally the case that you would have a single switch upstairs, which just does the upstairs light there. But downstairs uh, you would have the switch for the downstairs light and have a two gang switch here. So the other gang is the one that then can control the upstairs light as well. So if we just uh, modify this here, we can uh, just make this into a two gang switch. And the other gang here, say, would uh, need to connect to the upstairs switch in some fashion. So I've just uh, converted this switch into a uh, two gang switch, so that's the uh, same as we had before. And then we've got an extra switch on the side here. Typically those will be on the same actual plate, so it's just a single white plate or whatever with the two switches on the front. And then the upstairs one, we've still got one switch, but uh, of course it's been changed to a uh, slightly different type. Now in the UK these are called two-way switches. In other countries they're called three-way and various other names, but uh, that's of no relevance because we're dealing with the UK definitions here. And uh, the deal is that it's got a single terminal here, which is normally marked common, and then you've got two terminals outgoing, and the two possible positions for the switch are either, as shown there, so common and uh, say one of the terminals is linked, and in the other position it's simply the common and the other terminal linked together. And to connect these two together, the uh, cheapest and quickest way, and this is how you get this uh, shared neutral arrangement, is by putting two wires, or one cable with two wires in it, between here and here, and again this uh, other terminal here, and then the other terminal there. And the uh, wires here, because we've got uh, two here, we actually only need one uh, for this particular illustration, and it's the one that goes back to the lamp, so it would actually be this one. Now in a proper system, you would actually put three wires here, and this wire is the one that would connect to the other side of that switch there. So uh, if we were doing it properly, you would put three wires through there, and that would come into here. And the situation is then that uh, this wire here is still the permanent line coming in, and it goes all the way to the bottom switch into the switch here, and then depending on the position of the two switches will determine whether, of course, the light is on or off. Now, in this position here, the light will be on because we've got the path from here through the switch here, through that switch there, and, of course, back to the lamp over there. And this uh, arrangement allows you to turn it on and off from both of the two positions. So, for example, if you're upstairs, you could turn it off here, and then that would be connected over there. And of course there's no connection between this side then and this side, so the light is off. And then of course you can turn it on downstairs by uh, going in like that. And then you're actually using the other wire there. And you can do this as many times as you want. The, each switch is uh, totally independent, so you can turn it on and off from either switch, irrelevant of the position of the other one. Now so that's how it should be done, and you end up with this three core wire here, and normally there'll be an earth as well, but uh, I haven't shown that in this diagram. 
But uh, what seems to happen in a lot of older properties is that a uh, three core wire or cable wasn't actually used for some reason or other and uh, what you end up with is just a two core between the two switches. And of course in this situation you can't actually complete the uh, circuit switching arrangement because first of all there's no power here so it doesn't matter what you do with these switches nothing's going to happen because your permanent line is here not actually connected to anything and even if you connected it to one or more of these in various combinations the best you can do is to be able to switch it on at one switch but only if the other switch happens to be in the correct position so if you put one of the switches in uh, one position then it means the other one simply doesn't work at all so pretty much useless and uh, what has uh, happened in plenty of properties is a cheat and this is how you get this shared circuit arrangement so the permanent line coming in here isn't actually connected it's either just left there or there was just a single wire coming into the box there and the power for the whole thing is actually taken from the other switch which bearing in mind is probably on the same plate so you've got your permanent line here and they simply put a link in there like that and of course this does work because this is now your permanent line coming in and in this case it would be through here obviously the light would then be on and as before you can obviously move either one of the switches to uh, switch it off and then on the other one and this is how this shared neutral thing occurs because you've got this line coming from the downstairs circuit linking through into this upstairs switch and of course the return is on the neutral for the upstairs circuit which again is a totally separate thing and uh, you shouldn't have the interconnection there and in quite a lot of cases you find that this other wire here isn't that doesn't actually exist it was never installed they just put a single from the uh, sitting rows or whatever simply through to that and uh, the other line coming in was never connected it's usually connected up here because typically this would be going off to uh, other sitting fixtures in the rest of the building so you'd have your line in neutral would continue on and that would go to uh, other light fittings elsewhere but uh, quite often it's just a single wire or a single with earth in some cases uh, just going down to the switch there and then you've got this uh, rather unwanted link downstairs. Now if you do come across this and I've certainly seen it in many properties so it does seem to be a fairly common thing particularly from things in the sort of 1960s or 1970s there's a few ways you can resolve the issue. The uh, quickest and uh, not really the correct way to do it is to combine both of the circuits at the uh, fuse box into a single circuit so you're going to be connecting all of this will then be connected to all of this and then it doesn't matter about this link because of course it's all then on the same circuit now the problem with that is of course you've only got one lighting circuit then for the whole house with the result that any fault uh, can take out all the lighting in the whole house so that may or may not be acceptable depending on the exact circumstances uh, the other ways to do it are to uh, first of all remove the link between the uh, two circuits here that's the easy part and uh, then you've got uh, one of two options either to replace the uh, twin core cable here with a three core and then of course you end up with what we had before which is the uh, line will come down into the switch and then loop into the uh, switch downstairs so then you've got the uh, three core cable coming down and it's then totally separated from the downstairs circuit and the other option is uh, rather than doing that it's rather than bringing an extra line uh, conductor down there is to disconnect here so you may need to uh, continue a link through on the neutral for the rest of the upstairs circuits but for, from here the neutral for this particular lamp can then be brought down possibly through the switch or maybe not and that can come downstairs and then you would connect it into the uh, circuit for the downstairs lighting where you connect that I mean it could be in the switch or just take it directly to the uh, light fixture downstairs and then of course it's perfectly fine to have that link in there because then you're actually taking the neutral and the line from the same circuit this uh, is not normally going to be done because it's probably going to be more work than just putting the cable between the switches but uh, it will depend on the exact position of the various light fixtures and things and uh, just how easy that's going to be but that's certainly another option which you might consider uh, the other thing to be careful of there is that if you have got the uh, other connections in the same fitting upstairs 
I mean, ideally you would take them out of there completely, so you would have the cabling uh, obviously separated from that. Uh, if not, it would certainly be wise to put a uh, warning notice or something there indicating that it's powered from two different circuits. And of course there shouldn't be any interconnection between those two. So let's look there at how the uh, borrowed or shared neutral arrangement can occur. And uh, of course that's something you should not be doing on any kind of new installation. Nevertheless though it does seem to be fairly common on uh, fairly older installations, say particularly from the sort of 1970s and earlier. And uh, quite why this is isn't uh, totally clear, but it may just be that the uh, installers didn't have any three core and earth cable available, or couldn't be bothered to go and buy any. And certainly on older properties, uh, that uh, stairway lighting would be the only place it would be used. And of course all the rest would be in the usual twin cable with uh, an earth in it, or in some cases uh, twin cable with no earth in it if it was uh, from the 1960s. So until next time, thanks for watching.